welcome to another episode of Strikers Dead End. Today's topic is Olympics boxing. I did not think that I would speak on topics something like this, but the news are going wild on the news, on YouTube, everywhere, where one of the Algerian boxer Iman Khalif beat Italian boxer Angela. Now, this news is going wild because she stops in 46 seconds. Now, the way everyone is reporting is that it's a male boxer with the XY chromosome. She or he was allowed in female boxing and she or he just beaten Italian boxer in 46 seconds. But I think when I heard about the news and I was quite upset as well, kind of angry as well, that is this thing in boxing as well? Is this really happening in the Olympics as well? Are the transgenders or the male guys basically going to compete in women category and just gonna win everything? Then I decided to actually read about it and see that how these actually stories unfolded. So because before actually I make the video, I do read a little bit and then actually make the video instead of just uh, relying on those news and then just making my mind. So I thought, okay, why don't I just go read about it that what exactly story is. So I will share the story with you and then you, of course, you make your own mind that whether it's right or wrong, that is pretty clear for me is that men should not allowed to take part in any women game this is my opinion but of course you can have your own opinion as well but on this particular matter it's better if we look into the news and actually try to see exactly what is the reality rather than just going onto youtube listening to someone and then just making your mind that that is actually the truth so okay let's have a look so this news first if you look, it's on 30th of July 2024 from BBC, where the first news came in that two trans, maybe trans, but they don't they don't even say trans, two boxers are cleared to take part in Olympics 2024. It's a Lin Yu Ting, she and Iman Khalif. These two boxers are allowed to take part in Olympics 2024. And before, in 2023, both boxers were banned from from another organization uh, because of their testosterone level was uh, pretty high as a woman. So we are clear up to here, yeah. So these two boxers actually allowed in 2024 in Olympics, but before that in one of other organization, they were banned during the competition. I think Khalif supposed to fight for gold medal, but uh, but her result came positive, so she was banned and she was not able to fight for the gold medal for that particular organization. So uh, let me get, this is the BBC, yeah. So now I'm going to go on to another website, which, which is uh, Facta News, of course, uh, well, you can always question the authenticity of the news, but anyway. So what he says over here, so I'm, I'm going to quickly read about that. Yes, when this whole dispute actually started. At the 2023 World Boxing Championship in New Delhi, Khalif was disqualified just hours before her gold medal bout against Yang Li Du due to elevated testosterone level. So that is a testosterone level test. It was not a gender test. So she had, a, now I'm not an expert, so I don't know on what level, testosterone level in, in a woman you are allowed and up to after what certain level you are not allowed to basically, um, you know, uh, compete against women because the testosterone are the one basically, you know, makes you different from a man to a woman. So if your testosterone levels are high, and of course you will have advantage because you have more strength and yeah if you have more strength in boxing yeah of course you can knock people out very simple yeah okay the IOC, ioc said which did not meet eligibility criteria the international boxing association iba chaired by russian umar kremlin made the decision made the decision okay uh and then, of course, they also told the agency uh, and the DNA test show that she had XY chromosome. So according to this person over here, Umar, that Iman Khalif chromosomes came as XY, according to that news. 
The IB explained the Guardian that the decision was made following an extensive review and with the intention of upholding fairness and integrity of the competition. The disqualification led to widespread misinformation about Khalif's gender, with May falsely labeling her as a transgender. However, Khalif has always competed in female category and has never identified as a transgender or male. I will actually link uh, this article in my description as well. You guys actually you can read it yourself. So, so there was no official evidence from anywhere that she actually had XY chromosomes, but she, she definitely had a high level of uh, uh, testosterone. Of course, I'm not an expert to really give a judgment on that. That yeah, if the high level testosterone, what exactly that mean in terms of you know medically? Uh, I know that of course testosterone uh, play a vital part in your strength. Of course, that makes you different from you know man or woman. Anyway, she never competed as a transgender or male. So that is one thing clear where everyone actually on the news saying that it's a man who identified as a woman. That's not the case. She always competed as a female, never competed as a transgender or male. So yeah, the question about uh, that news about XY chromosome, of course, we don't know how, what's the truth behind it. You can see the video where I'm going to you can see that of course that's where he or she you know whatever you want to call her uh, is up to you so she stopped the lady where of course uh, she was much more stronger and yeah you can see that yeah she don't want to continue anymore so now the question is that you know there's always a counter argument to everything you know okay so okay i want to get your attention into this particular tweet yeah so what this person says over here yeah Please get your facts straight and stop spreading baseless rumors. She is a woman who is excelling and dominating her field. So, okay, so here's the thing. So this is the picture of her as a childhood. This is her, look like a girl. Um, over here, of course, doesn't really, or if you look it into the video, of course, over here, when, yeah, over here, you know, she doesn't really look like a, you know, a lady. She does look like a man. Okay, so another thing over here. So another tweet over here. So just see, I mean, the, the reason I'm actually I'm reading this one over here, say, rather than we just jumping to conclusion because we read the news and just people are going crazy about it. So just read this one as well. Uh, Iman Khalif, a talented Algerian boxer hailing from conservative uh, region of uh, uh, Tiarat has recently become the target of malicious misinformation campaign. This campaign has sought to cast doubt on her gender, spreading false and unfounded rumors that undermines her. So I can play another video over here, which is, uh, yeah, this is someone uh, posted another video over here. Uh, I can raise the volume. Pour devenir ce qu'elle est aujourd'hui, une source d'inspiration. Iman, marhaba bik ma'ana. Et la première question, habina na'afo kifash kanet Iman ki kan sghira. Wallah ki ma kanet Iman sghira, kunt balak Iman khalif hiya min jat ma qarya sghira, min manat bna'iya, fi wilayat ya kanet qarya ta'na. Yeah, is her over here? Bala tab'ad ala wasat al-Madina hawali 10 km. Dit min qarya ila al-Madina min Madina. Yeah, again, it's over here again as well. Yeah, by looking at this video, you can see she does look like a woman. But of course, who am I to really judge? So my whole point of making this video is that please do not just jump to the conclusion just by watching, you know, the videos. We don't really know the truth. Uh, but the thing is, yes, one is uh, for sure we should actually react. If her testosterone level 
high enough not to compete in in the women uh, sport she shouldn't be there if she's a strong transgender she shouldn't be there if she is male she shouldn't be there but because the news of people thinking that she's a male transgender whatever they're thinking it doesn't mean that we should love or hate her because someone else is saying so we should be really careful that how we actually um, make opinion about, about the people when i read about the news of course i was furious about that as well but when i did my own research so now you know i i'm no one to basically then you know uh, have a say about particular in this case so i mean i think uh, definitely there should, there should be some sort of a medical test and then if they can actually do the test of course normally they do some tests as well i don't know the details about the test what sort of test they do but of course they should do the test and then actually if there are any reports or whatever they should do something or news release or whatever to exactly say that what sort of test they do and how they um, basically qualify or disqualify people you know from a particular category so if she's a, a pure female she is allowed and she of course uh, should compete but of course if she is not then yeah she should not in that category then of course if she's a male then go to the male category but of course i cannot really say that because i don't know i only know what i see on the news just like you but i would just say please don't judge if you don't know okay then thank you very much for watching and i will see you for the next one on real topic which is UFC, boxing or Muay Thai. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.